and thanks uh, for asking me here. Uh, and uh, yeah, exactly my role is to introduce uh, our activity in Estonia, in the Estonian Art Museum, uh, what we are doing with uh, contemporary art and, and uh, what are our developments. And uh, yeah, um, uh, here you see the Estonian Art Museum and then uh, probably, oh okay, yeah, like that, okay. <laughs> probably uh, many people have been there and uh, yes. Uh, Next slide. And everybody knows the, uh, knows the building, uh, uh, which is called Kumu, but actually uh, it's a building for Estonian Art Museum. And, uh, and why I, I, I say it is that uh, actually we have a collection uh, here, which is around 50,000 or, or even more artworks, starting from medieval art and, and uh, ending up with contemporary art. And certainly the major part of our collection is uh, a traditional art and that's probably like 5% or 10% maximum is contemporary art. Uh, so, uh, which is also a creating uh, actually um, whatever system or, or ecosystem where we are dealing with contemporary art, which means that, that actually all the ideas and all the circumstances and all the uh, a, a situation is made for traditional art and traditional thinking. Uh, and actually, mm, yeah, in the 2000, uh, oh yeah, well, what I also wanted to mention that, that uh, we have a great contemporary art collection from Soviet time on, and it's very much thanks to our great. Uh, uh, grand, uh, I wouldn't say old lady, but, but younger, quite young lady, Eha Komisara, who really, uh, uh, really was able also in Soviet time to collect uh, uh, contemporary art in, uh, at, uh, along with art uh, in Soviet period. So, but the, um, actually, um, all the collection uh, uh, until the Kumu was built, or this building was uh, made in 2006, uh, um, all the collecting or acquiring process certainly depended only on the curatorial point of view and, and uh, uh, the conservator or preservation point of view was never involved. Uh, and uh, in 2006 uh, uh, they created, uh, what we created, a uh, uh, position for contemporary art conservator, who, who, which happened to me, be me. And then with the uh, head of collection, we started to uh, go through uh, the colle uh, collection existing already in, in, in the museum uh, and uh, making kind of, um, what you call it, analytical inventory of the works. And certainly, which uh, what came out that uh, most of the uh, works, uh, artworks, um, uh, had uh, lost a kind of uh, conceptual essence. We had objects, a lot of objects, but uh, all the meaning, uh, meaning part was uh, kind of dispersed. And uh, then we started to work step by step, uh, uh, like interviewing the artist and, and, and uh, uh, seeing the, the trying to, uh, I don't know, reconstruct. Today we are using the word to reconstruct, reconstruct the meaning of the artworks and also to uh, document or create a documentation to each artwork we have in collection. And uh, yeah, uh, and uh, as a pre uh, previous presentation was a little bit talking about the uh, uh, educational system as well. So as I'm uh, personally working also in uh, in uh, Academy of Art teaching the students. Uh, we made this process always involving the students, so, uh, so our cur cur curriculum, uh, curriculum for conservation students uh, had always involved this uh, contemporary uh, art conservation and preservation aspects. And uh, thanks to that we have uh, some uh, great followers who are also sitting here, uh, who are now carrying on this contemporary art uh, preservation ideas in, in, in our museum. And on the basis of, uh, of, uh, of the work uh, during uh, uh, six, seven years, and, uh, I made uh, my PhD work, which is not that I, I want to talk about my PhD, but, but uh, just uh, uh, here, more or less, I, I, I tried to uh, collect uh, uh, all the work we have done, uh, this uh, analytical uh, inventory work we have done during the, those uh, years. And, uh, uh, so it's also here if somebody wants to see, and uh, I, I give it to you for, for your 
institution. Ah, yeah. <laughs> 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 but anyhow, uh, uh, and then we started, uh, I started, uh, I started, I started. Uh, uh, certainly, with these abstract questions, uh, uh, questions uh, which I have already uh, posed here many times, that uh, asking the questions, uh, what is the uh, what is the authenticity, contemporary art, and, and uh, how we can collect uh, conceptual and contextual uh, uh, levels uh, levels of, con of contemporary art. And, and uh, what is the conservative, uh, conservative position in this, uh, in this process of, of acquiring and, and, uh, and uh, collecting art. Uh, and what is uh, 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 eventually what remains from contemporary heritage to the future generation. And uh, um, the important part, that because uh, as we already uh, uh, and many people do today, it's uh, uh, always the conservation is case by case. And uh, the uh, important part of the work uh, uh, is uh, the case study uh, part. And uh, the, there are some selected case studies uh, which I will introduce, also two of them, which is made at blue. Uh, but, but, uh, <coughs> um, what I want to say. But yeah, exactly. The case studies are selected for the work, are selected uh, uh, with the idea that they are not only uh, dealing with one or other case study, but also on, uh, uh, asking and uh, answering, if possible, like bigger questions, like uh, whatever, how we uh, uh, could uh, preserve a process and then. Um, uh, how can be uh, uh, how can uh, time be frozen? So it's uh, each each of these case studies uh, introducing uh, introducing like uh, or asking a, a bigger question than uh, just uh, this case uh, study. And um, yes, and also an extremely important part of the work was to uh, uh, open up the topic a bit uh, in a broader sense not only uh, among the museum specialists, but also among the art society in general, like artists and so on and so on. So uh, that's why uh, we also made an exhibition which we were uh, dealing with this uh, questions of how to preserve contemporary art or how to preserve the uh, ephemeral part of the contemporary art. And here you see some slides of, of, of the exhibition. The same case studies which are described and then uh, which too I will describe a bit closer. Yes, and in the uh, in the end, that oh, as a result of the of the PhD, I proposed a kind of uh, uh, methodological and strategical uh, basis to the uh, uh, preservation and especially the acquiring process uh, uh, of con uh, of contemporary art in uh, in our museum. And uh, I think it's uh, in a way it is important that this work was done in Estonia because since uh, then, uh, then I think we are much more aware of what we are doing uh, by collecting and acquiring art and it's always like the cons conservator's uh, point of view or, or preservation point of view is involved in the process. So we are really trying to, uh, uh, already during the acquiring process, we try to see the future and that uh, also the like uh, prognose the future and what happens and, and, and how we can, how we could uh, preserve also those levels which are not connected with this physical object itself. So, and uh, uh, as I uh, was asked by uh, um, uh, by organizers uh, to introduce two case studies, and the case studies uh, were, were selected by you <laughs> because <laughs> probably would, uh, uh, would have been a bit complicated for me. But anyhow, uh, so I shortly introduce uh, you. Uh, uh, Today we are talking about the reconstruction, and none of those case studies are, are dealing uh, in direct sense of uh, reconstruction. But the word reconstruction is quite broad, and that in a way these are uh, these uh, works which belong to the museum already since 20 years or 15, 20 years. Uh, they are uh, they are also a stories of reconstructing, but reconstructing uh, uh, the the meaning or, or the the yeah this ephemeral part around the physical object. So, uh, first, Elki Kasemets, uh, who is uh, yeah, he's, uh, uh, also an active artist now, but, but had a kind of uh, important uh, role, especially in the beginning of the 90s. And uh, all 
And uh, all his works um, are, uh, in a way, similar. All of them carry a similar idea and, and, uh, and uh, uh, similar notions all of mentioned uh, towards his works. And they are not, uh, none of them is actually a ready, ready-made artwork, but they are all like processes which are going on and going on, and most of them were started in the 90s. And this is just an example, because it's always mentioned that uh, he's a trash artist, and an uh, artist who is recycling a material. And this is, for me, at least, a uh, uh, good example. These are cigarette boxes, yeah? It's an exhibition in 2011. And, and uh, uh, so, and this is the other part of, of, of the particular exhibition where he's ordering, uh, ordering and making a shape out of this uh, uh, trash or, or this uh, recycling kind of, of the art. And the other, uh, yeah, other example from the same exhibition. And uh, this is another work he's doing. And uh, again, he started this work uh, from uh, already in the mid-90s. And it's a, a, a suit uh, having all these buttons on it. But it's not the result of uh, uh, one action, because he's like, uh, not every day, but, uh, but after a while, adding uh, again a new uh, uh, button. And each of these buttons tell, tells a story, and each of the buttons is uh, documented. So, he, uh, so the meaning is, uh, meaning is that it's always a process which is carried on, and each of the details is carrying the idea or the memory. Or, or, um, and here's again another example. Uh, uh, so, and this one which you see uh, uh, behind, this is the work I'm telling you, a more pre i work. Again, uh, it's uh, not a work, it's not a result, but, but uh, one of these uh, pro uh, processes uh, uh, I'm telling you afterwards a bit more. And yeah, and this is another work which is belonging to our collection. And it's, again, and, and uh, one thing that uh, is always repeated uh, towards his works that he's documenting, uh, documenting uh, and collecting the time and memory. And this is a good example because it's um, how you call it in English? This great uh, cloak. Great clothes and or so. You have a great bag, and then, then it's close to some. Plastic, so plastic, yeah, sticks. And the important thing that's always a, a date on it. So like that, he's collecting the, the time, but but uh, then in certain moment when it was acquired to museum, it was stopped. So uh, it's a process which is uh, stopped in a certain moment, but it's not the idea of the work. So another other example, it's installation of CD. So he has a piles and piles of of these details, and every time he's making a new installation. And again, here also, it's not uh, just a beautiful uh, wall decoration, but each of the CDs, the meaning is the information what is on the CD. So, and uh, probably the most famous work he ever made, or he, he's making, is the is the it's called the life file, and he's, it's like a diary, his personal diary, and uh, uh, every day he's painting one of these milk boxes. And inside the milk box is like a, uh, it, it, it's dated, each of the milk box is dated, and, and uh, also the notes of the day, day uh, days, uh, whatever, uh, events are written inside the milk box. So it's like, uh, like really his personal diary. And now he has around uh, 8,000 uh, pieces, pieces uh, uh, but that's probably, uh, maybe now it's even more, it was a year ago, it was 8,000. And this is exhibition in Riga, but he made many, many, and every time he's making a new installation out of it. And this is, was a work that, which uh, he was award, awarded of the most important uh, uh, paintings award called Konrad Maggi Award in Estonia. And the museum had an idea to buy, because normally we buy a work which is awarded with this price. But then, at that time, it was just before Kumu, uh, nobody could decide what, it, what, what, what do we buy. So, uh, shall we buy the contract to his artist that he brings every month one box, another box of milk boxes, or, or shall we come every day to museum and paint another milk box? So, at that moment, the uh, museum were not, was not able to decide what do we are buying. But one work we have in, uh, in our collection, and, and again, it's a work, one project we have in our, our collection, is called Komburger, or Kannet. Uh, and um, it's, uh, it's actually consisting of the K 
kingdoms. And uh, he, artist himself, defines the system uh, that uh, it's a system consisting of modules, uh, which are the cans, single cans, uh, which makes uh, possible to create screen images. And theoretically, each can is a part of this large system. And there are endless opportunities to make, make and break the images. And actually, uh, again, he started this project or process uh, in the mid 90s, and he has uh, thousands and thousands of these scans. And basically, what he's doing, he's playing around with this uh, colored, uh, colored uh, cans. Uh, not colored here, but colored cans. So, and, uh, and he has uh, hundreds of these ornaments, uh, hand, handmade ornaments. And then they're using those, he's playing really, uh, uh, creating, uh, creating uh, also a huge outdoor installation using those cans. And in, uh, uh, it was in uh, 1996 uh, when the museum decided to buy uh, two of those uh, uh, objects. And uh, actually this is the one here you see. And uh, since that, it's now like 15, 20 years, uh, it has been in the museum as a ready-made uh, object. So um, when we started uh, to discuss with the artist, uh, the main question uh, was how we can, uh, because it was for that time, it was forgotten already this pr uh, process level, that it should be a part of this big uh, module system, a part of this big, uh, uh, big game what he's uh, playing with his hands. And so uh, suddenly, <coughs> All these questions uh, which uh, we were uh, discussing with the artist uh, during the interview and, and, and uh, also during the uh, reinstallation of the work. And uh, what we, in the end, uh, certainly uh, the part of the documentation is, uh, is uh, for now also the description of artist, how he, he describes the, the idea of this uh, object. But uh, um, what we are doing, we basically in the museum because they are all uh, loose, uh, loose cans. And uh, what uh, we were doing in the museum, we uh, made kind of animation uh, uh, which should describe the idea of this endless uh, possibilities to move around, uh, move, move around the scans. And I show you just a little clip of it. And uh, just uh, again coming back to this. Uh, uh, Museum, which has a collection of, of mainly of traditional art, uh, and uh, and uh, uh, this is the storage for our yeah collection. A oh, few more minutes. Oh, okay. <laughs> okay. Then the second case that I can't even show. Anyhow, uh, and uh, this is uh, uh, this is the animation that we created. Uh, and I try to move it on. So uh, uh, where you see this image moving always. And the important part is also that uh, uh, that uh, for him, uh, for him, uh, that that time which is written here is always in uh, movement. And so, in, uh, in the exhibition, uh, uh, and the exhi in, in, the exhi in uh, this particular exhibition, which is supposed to explain explain uh, um, the ideas uh, or, or how to preserve the ideas of contemporary art was exposed these two things together, the original, or, I mean the uh, work or the result of the, or the work which we have in the collection and, uh, and uh, animation. But yes, then uh, maybe I skip the second case study because, uh, yeah, so, and uh, uh, if um, in internet, because uh, the, the other case study I uh, had an idea just to show you a film, because each case study, uh, which is uh, uh, analyzed in the, in the, uh, in the book, uh, uh, we made also a short film, like a five, five, seven minutes film, uh, based on the interview we made with the artist, but also analyzing through this interview uh, the uh, the dilemmas of, of, of uh, uh, preserving the contemporary art, so uh, everybody can see the film, but uh, it's, uh, you can find it from uh, YouTube. Any questions from our Estonian colleague? Thanks so much for your presentation, Kyoka. And I was very happy that ah, it's here. Oh, okay. <laughs> no, no, I was very happy that you were speaking so much also about the preservation, especially of the meaning and of maybe yeah more the context of the work.
not as much as uh, about the material uh, challenges, which, which of course are also there. But then I was wondering, for example, with the work uh, by Erki Kasemitz, it uh, could be also very complicated because there are like the work with the diaries, it includes so much stories. And then I wonder like how then you deal with this preservation of the so-called meaning or, or the mm. context or all this kind of storytelling. Mm. So this, uh, yeah, the medium is always a documentation. But, but uh, as this uh, milk work, milk package work is not in the museum collection, so we didn't have to face the, face the situation. But, but uh, I'm sure if it uh, was a question to buy it, uh, then uh, uh, yeah, also in collaboration with artists, we could find the format to, uh, to, uh, to have it in our collection. <laughs> but uh, it's some, for me, it's a question always about documentation. That also in the contemporary arts, always a bit like a tendency to over document everything, and then you have this piles of documentation, and always like that you find this optimum documentation or, or something like that. So it's uh, if you have like, all these piles of documentation, then also a future ge for future generation, it uh, has a almost no value because nobody understands what is the. So this information overloads and so on, and so on. So, in this case, I just like that it's such a simple way to show something. Uh, uh, yeah. Audience. Okay, thank you mm -hmm. very much indeed.